All right, so you've made it this far. That means you want training on how to pull your customer's credit using just their name and their address only. You're probably a lender or a broker, or you work in some kind of industry that requires your customer to get financed. And so because of that, you wanna know your customer's credit score right at the beginning of the sales cycle. That way you know whether or not they would be approved if they applied. And so what our software does is deliver you just that, your customer's credit score and their full credit report using just their name and address only. And that is the purpose of this video and this training is to show you how you can do that. Now, if at any time during this training, you wanna get started pulling your customer's credit, you can go ahead and just click the link below and we'd love to help you out. So back in 2017, when we started developing this technology for soft pulls in these different industries, we originally started out in the auto industry. And I'll tell you a quick story on that. So if you've ever financed a car, right, through a dealership, you know that it takes so long to get a deal done. And when you get there, you're just like, I wanna know what the payments are gonna be for this particular financing plan. And the guy's like, well, I need you to do a hard pull. I need you to fill out this credit application in order to know how much your payments are gonna be. And your customers are probably doing this too, thinking for you, right? They're like, how much are the payments gonna be? And, and the dealer's like, well, you need to apply, right? And so there's this back and forth on the dealership side. You gotta sit down and then you talk to the sales manager and then he goes and talks to the financing guy, go back and forth and four hours later and you find out that the payment is not right, right? Or you, you know you have good credit, but you don't wanna do a hard pull, right? You just wanna know what the payments are gonna be. And, and so that's where it started was we needed to solve this problem for auto dealers on how they could speed up their sales cycle. And this is the same thing that we, we do for all different industries from mortgage brokers to pools, speeding up the sales cycle. So we introduced soft pulls to bridge that gap. So the customer gives the dealer their name and their home address and the permission to do a soft pull and the dealer can then offer terms based on their credit report and their FICO score without harming their credit score, without putting a hard inquiry on the credit score, without needing their social and all this intrusive information. And it helps the customer because they know their payment plan, but it also helps the auto dealer because the salesman will spend three to four hours on somebody that doesn't qualify. And I don't know if you've ever spent a lot of time with somebody that doesn't qualify, but Auto dealers, they'll, they'll spend time negotiating, working a deal for weeks, chasing somebody down. They end up applying. The guy's not even approved, right? And so they just wasted so much time. So these soft pulls, they really help the auto dealers find out at the beginning of the sales cycle whether or not the person would be approved. So like I said, we started in auto, right? Back in 2017, I remember me and my sales guys, we were doing a lot of cold calling, trying to get more deals. And then I got so tired of cold calling, I heard about digital advertising and I, I hung up this Google ad, right? And it was a request information on soft pulls. I was targeting auto dealers. And then we started getting all these calls from random companies, from like solar business loans, even dentists, all these random companies, they'd call us and I'd be like, why do you need soft pulls? And they would start telling me their story. They'd be like, I sent like, a, I remember the solar guy was like, I got these door knockers in the field, right? And they spend so much time working on these deals and I, they drive around and, and they end up trying to do a deal after two weeks and the guy's not even qualified. And so they want to know their customer's credit at the beginning of the sales cycle. That way they know if they should spend time with the client, right? And I was like, okay, that makes sense. So solar guys, they definitely need soft pulls. And then these business loan guys, right? I guess like they used to have the customer submit them their credit report so they could review their credit report and then know where to send the deal, right? They would rely on the customer to send them their credit, but sometimes the customer would never submit them their credit report. And so they would just shotgun the deal out to four or five lenders and the guy would end up getting like five hard pulls. And so this business loan company needs to know the customer's credit score so he knows where to send the loan. And so all these different industries, they have the same problem. They need to know their customer's credit right at the beginning of the sales cycle so they know if they should spend time on this customer or not. The difference between a hard pull and a soft pull isn't the data, right? It isn't it isn't the underlying credit report. The difference between the hard pull and the soft pull is in the intent of the borrower, right? So in this case, the borrower is saying, if I did apply, would I be approved, right? They're not actually asking for the loan right now. They're asking if I did apply, would I be approved? And so they do a soft pull on them, find out the terms, find out the exact credit score, and you can get the deal done. You've seen this a lot. If you've ever shopped for a credit card online, like on, a Capital One or American Express, it says get pre-qualified. 
will not impact your credit score. And then you put in your information, they say you'd be best suitable for the gold offer or the silver offer or the double points offer, right? So this technology used to be just for these big players like Capital One and American Express. You've seen Carvana when you're shopping for cars online now. But what we did was develop this technology and package it up to bring it to the middle market to the small businesses and medium sized businesses. That way you'd have access to the same exact technology. So what the bureaus do is they just create data. They're, they're data aggregators, right? And they rely on resellers like us to make technology to different niches. And so we are the software, we buy the data from Experian, TransUnion and Equifax, and we enable you to run soft credit checks through our platform. So to overcome this burden of, of not knowing your customer's credit, we deliver you your customer's full credit report and FICO score using just their name and address only with a soft credit check. Now you might be wondering, well, how can you do it with just a name and address only? See, a name and an address is a unique identifier, just like a social security number. A social security number is not required to identify someone. And we have an API to the credit bureaus so we can identify somebody using just their name and their home address, right? That has a couple assumptions on it. That the name and the address are only associated with one person. So if there's a John Doe Jr. and a senior living at the same house, then we would need the date of birth, right? Or the social security number. Or if somebody got married and they gave you their new last name, then we would need their date of birth or their social security number. Or let's say they gave you their name and home address, but the new home address they gave you wasn't on their credit report. Then we would need their date of birth and their social security number. But the overwhelming majority of the time, when you're talking about somebody who gives you their name and their home address, and that name and that home address is unique to them, and it's on their credit report, then we can identify them and we don't need their date of birth and we don't need their social. The reason this is so important is because people have been trained not to give up their social security number, particularly with so much identity theft going on. So let's say you're cold calling, you're doing uh, home refinances or whatever it is. You haven't built up a lot of rapport with the customer and you want to get them pre-qualified. Uh, pre you can now do it without asking them for their social security number. And that is huge. So you're turning a lot of people that would have just walked away because they didn't want to give up their social security number or they didn't want to apply and do a hard pull. You turn them into actual borrowers and actual prospects because you can convert more leads, right? And so this isn't just a tool for you to uh, save time on unqualified leads, but it actually helps you convert more leads into clients because you're able to overcome these obstacles and these objections of saying, I don't want to hard pull. I don't want to give you my social security number. We actually found that by only asking for a name and a home address increases the conversion rate by 300% online, right? So imagine you're shopping online for a loan. You have two options. One is fill out just your name and your home address. The other is put in your name, home address, date of birth, social security number, occupation, employment history, and this whole litany of, of information. You got two choices, name and home address, and this whole other full application. Over 300% of the time, this converts more, right? Name and home address. So, so not only does it save time, but you get way more conversions. So let's talk about how businesses are using this, right? How are different industries actually implementing soft pulls? Over the phone, right? It all starts with consent. You gotta get consent of the customer. So you can do that over the phone on a recorded line. You can do that online, like when you're applying for a credit card online, or you can do it on a paper application. Typically the paper application happens like in a dentist office, right? When you're filling out your onboarding information, or you're a chiropractor or something, and you can just fill out the consent right there. So you can do it over the phone, you can do it online, or you can do it on a traditional paper application. Over the phone really works really well when you're doing appointment setting. So let's say uh, a solar guy or a pool or the home improvement industry, you're about to send somebody out to go bid a job and they are gonna get financing, right? You can do a soft pull, just doing their name and their home address and their consent to find out whether or not they would be approved. Now you can tell the customer, hey, let me do a soft pull on you. That way I can give you exact terms and exact quote, right? Be like, okay, you don't need their date of birth. 
you don't need their social security number. Just do it on a recorded line. Uh, you have to have a recorded line. You have to have the consent recorded. That's why uh, they have it like on a written paper application or digital consent can be stored. That's why you need it on a recorded line. Um, so you can do it on appointment confirmations before you send them out, but also like refinances for home loans. If you wanna know how much they owe on their home, right? You can get a soft pull done just using their name and their address, pull their full credit report, and it's gonna show their mortgage, how much they owe on their mortgage, right? The reason this is very important is because you don't have a lot of rapport built up with your customer, you're just cold calling, and try asking them for their social security number when they just got cold called. Not gonna happen, right? Just a name and a home address, which you already have, because they live there, they're the homeowner, you can run a soft pull once you get their consent. You can send them an email and say, get pre-qualified in your email. They click the button, they give you their consent online. You can embed it in your website. So instead of asking for a hard pull application on your website, you can just embed um, a soft pull application with just their name and address on the form and you get consent at the bottom when they click I, can, I agree, you can then run a soft credit check on them, right? This is great for doing lead generation. Instead of just generating the lead from Facebook or Google, you can now generate the lead, but you can also get their full credit report and their FICO score. So different businesses use it in different ways, right? So. Let's take a minute and let's listen to one of our best clients, Jason at Capwell Funding. He's been using this product for years. He's, a, he's been able to scale his business. Let's hear from him on how he implemented it in the business loan industry. So before we were able to soft pull and we had to rely on the client getting us a PDF of their credit report from whatever credit monitoring site they were using at the time, that could take up to two weeks of just back and forth and chasing if they weren't really tech savvy, just trying to download a PDF of their own credit from a credit monitoring site. We got it down to a couple hours with the softball by just getting a couple data points. We haven't had any issues with what we see on the softball and what a client sees through their credit monitoring. I would say the softball data is deeper and better than a lot of these credit monitoring platforms. When I found out that I could do this behind the scenes and provide an accurate prequal and not rely on the client to get me their credit, I almost didn't believe it. Like even after using it for a little bit, I still wondered how long is this gonna last? How long am I gonna be able to do this? Cause this is amazing. This is, I keep using the term, but it's game changing. We've been able to do a lot more deals with Softpool because of just the scalability. I really couldn't imagine anyone that needs to review credit, not having it. I don't know how you would really be effective, how you would compete in the marketplace without SoftPoll. If you're a business that needs to review your customer's credit, I highly recommend iSoftPoll. So let's talk about what kind of businesses we serve. I discussed a little bit about them. Solar, business loans, auto, mortgage. What all these people have in common, all these businesses have in common is they wanna pull credit for financing. There's lots of other industries like bankruptcy attorneys or credit repair or tenant screening. They have a reason to pull credit too. We just don't do that. All we do is financing and loans, lending, uh, net 30 in-house financing. So if you wanna pull your customer's credit for the purpose of checking their credit to see if they can pay back a loan, we can totally work with you. If it's something else, that's not something that we do. So hopefully you got a lot out of this training, right? You learned what soft credit checks are, how different industries are using them. We heard from a testimonial from Jason at Capwell on how he was able to scale his business. If you want more information, go ahead and click the link below and you can schedule an appointment with one of our sales reps and we'd love to help you out. Cheers.